a test tube of blood. Mm -hmm. So these are both blood. Ice fish who live in the Southern Ocean are suspiciously pale. Most fish have bright red gills, but not ice fish. And sure enough, when scientists looked at their blood, they found that unlike every other vertebrate on the planet, ice fish don't have red blood cells or hemoglobin at all. It's almost entirely plasma with some special antifreeze proteins. It reminds me of Crystal Pepsi. Do you remember Crystal Pepsi? Was it just like clear Pepsi? Yeah, it made clear Pepsi. No. Uh, it didn't do well. Mm -hmm. But this fish seems like it's doing well. Yeah, the fish is doing great because it turns out when the water's really close to freezing, blood with red blood cells in it, it's harder to pump. Hmm. It becomes goopier. So ice fish were able to take over niches that were too cold for other species. And they managed to survive because of a couple reasons. One was that cold water holds more oxygen. And so they were able to have more oxygen in their plasma just floating freely. It's got no scales. Very smooth. Which is kind of weird. So their skin is just in direct contact with the water. So they're able to absorb oxygen directly from the water that way. In most fish, blood makes up less than 5% of their body. But for ice fish, it's more like a quarter. It's like we always say here at Howtown, when a random mutation eliminates your hemoglobin, take over the Southern Ocean. Ocean.